Now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off are made near by the blood of Christ. How far? How far was far off? When I was a little guy, my room was my little world. And I had a little toy box. And, but, you know, then there was this down the hall thing, right? And when I went down the hall, there was this really great room called the kitchen. And then as spring came and I got to go outside a bit, you know, and play in the yard. And it was a wonderful world. Worms and, and bugs and, and uh, you know, dandelions and all sorts of things out there. And, and then there was this forbidden world. It was called across the street. Don't go across the street. And then there was this, this place. It was so far away, I'd never think of going there myself. It was called Grandma's House. It was a wonderful place. And sometimes we'd pack up and we'd go to Grandma's House. And Well, you know, as I went to school, I discovered that actually we, we lived in a province called Ontario. And you could travel three days, 500 miles a day, and you wouldn't get to the western border of Ontario. And you could travel the other way a, a day's journey to get to the eastern border. And then I found out that Canada was this huge country, five and a half times zones across. It was 4,500 miles from coast to coast. And, and then I found out that actually planet Earth, it's just a little, a little speck in, in our solar system. The sun was a, a million and a quarter times bigger. And then, then I started to hear about light years and 700 million light years. They're talking about finding stars out there. But then there was a day I discovered that the greatest distance in the universe was the distance between a holy God and me. There's no greater distance in the universe. Your sin has separated you from God. It was a distance so great that only God could bridge that gap. We read about one person in the universe only one who is God-man. Only one like him. And he was the only one who could be the mediator, who could touch both sides. You remember, this was Job's longing, wasn't it? That there would be a day's man who would lay his hand on me, who would, who would connect me with God. Imagine Almighty God, the one of whom it is said, the heaven of heavens cannot contain him has come to dwell in you. You are the temple of God. His Spirit lives in you. And so to say the Lord is near me now is almost as untrue as to say He's far away. He is in you. He shall be with you and shall be in you. He couldn't get any nearer to us. He's come to live within us. You who were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ.